Hi, this is Charlene Amoya, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis in the studio with Dana Ward. Hey guys, what's up? And today we have a very exciting guest, appeared on Glee just last night, Charlene Amoya. Hi. So on that Glee. That was awesome, by the way. <laughs> Thank Love you the so episode. Much. So tell us seriously, what was it like seeing yourself on a show like that? Um, it was it was amazing to be part of Glee first off, but secondly to also have a part of a storyline that was so impacting and poignant was a really remarkable experience. So I've just been thrilled. So tell us for people who maybe haven't catch, caught the episode yet, mm -hmm. um, what exactly your storyline was. So basically, uh, Matthew Morrison comes to the hospital where I work and has a relationship with me and the children that I take care of, um, and sings usually like sings or plays with them. Um, I think exposes them to the arts is the idea. And in this episode, he somehow convinces Jane Lynch to come, and she gets touched by um, by the kids, which I, I don't think anybody is going to expect from from her character. So. That was the whole idea. Oh my gosh, and your yeah. character's a nurse, right? I'm a nurse. Um, <clears throat> I take care of uh, these children with cancer, and we actually hired kids right from the hospital, so it was a really, wow. really difficult, uh, emotional, but mm -hmm. awesome day to kind of uh, work with these kids and, and get to know them. They were all just so brilliant. So, Could you tell, like, were they really excited to be a part of Glee, this hit show? They were. Were they fans? They were, and one girl in particular, you know, expressed interest that she wanted to, you know, to um, be more involved in the entertainment world and start acting and stuff like that, so it was really cool, and a lot of them were just, you know, big personalities and were just great to have around, but um, it was it was by far the most um, exciting thing that I've done and also moving. When I was done with uh, shooting that day, I called the casting just kind of hysterical because um, because the kids had impacted me so much. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And yeah. I'm sure it was a bright spot for them too for mm -hmm. all, what they're going through as well for yeah. all these kids. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now, so, of course, sorry, we have to talk about the singing. Hey, <laughs> what was it like to, to get your voice out there? Yeah, well, <laughs> tell us about the scene a little bit. That was interesting because um, the scene that I auditioned with was just the dialogue scene. And mm -hmm. so I didn't know I was singing until we got on set. And um, what would happen if you wait, didn't sing? Yeah, what, what if happen? you're like a terrible singer? <laughs> it didn't. It didn't really matter because it was in a group, and oh, I think they okay. would have probably just <laughs> made sure my voice was really low. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the kids were so excited singing the song, so no matter what, that that's what they were gonna focus on. You know, but for a second there, I was like, oh, I shoot, what song is it? You know, and. Um, we all kind of practiced together, and it was a very easy song. So, and doing oh, a wow. scene with Matthew Morrison and I mean Jane Lynch. Need I say more? What were they like behind the scenes? Did you get a chance to interact with them? Yeah, at all? a lot. We um, we had a lot of time that day in between takes and stuff, and both of them were extremely generous and nice and warm human beings. I just really, really enjoyed being with them. They were they were both really honestly very fantastic. So exciting. Yeah. Oh my now, gosh. Yeah. On the episode, there was definitely some Bieber fever. Yes. Now, yes. do you have Bieber fever? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> you might, it's contagious. Yeah. We had it, so Nurse watch Bailey, out. Nurse Bailey, Nurse Bailey, you yeah, know yeah, how yeah. to like stay away, right? Yeah, the Nurse Bailey had nothing to do with Bieber, but yeah. you know, I, I don't, I could see it happening actually. I'm sure the kids would really enjoy some Bieber. So maybe for future episodes, but, mm. you know. Watch out. Put it out there. You might already have it, seriously. <laughs> And also, your storyline was kind of left open-ended, so there could be, fingers crossed, the possibility for your character to make a return. Who knows? I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed on that one. So if you're sure. watching, people in charge, <laughs> bring back Bailey. One thing that I personally want to know about, the audition process, because so many people out there like want to be a part of Glee, and you know they're sending their headshots and resumes out and everything. But what was the actual audition process? Was it crazy long, or did you go in there and you found out you got cast right away? Yeah, well, um, they, I think, with this episode, may have been a little bit behind writing it. So I got the audition at 2 p.m. Um, for a 4 o'clock call, which is really unusual. Mm -hmm. Usually we'll get it the night before it, at the very least. So mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> my audition process may be different for other people's, but I just ran to the audition, kind of looked at the lines in the car, and did it. And they put a bunch of girls on tape, and that all got sent to 
producers and then they picked one from there. Mm. And then I think I was shooting like two days later. Wow. So I think, I don't think that that's necessarily the norm, uh -huh. but that's how it went down for me. Oh my gosh. What would you say was overall maybe something that was surprising that you found out behind the scenes on Glee or something that you learned that you didn't expect to? Um, you know, the biggest surprise was the fa was the fact that I was going to be singing at all. You know, <laughs> so cool. That is a really crazy story. Yeah, the, the, there there was no question if I could even sing, and there was a part um, with this song that we're singing where um, Jane Lynch and Matthew Morrison were instructed to stop singing the song. It was for the third verse, and just to kind of have their moment and dialogue. And at, at that point, I was going to lead the children in the song. And so where Matthew's voice was leading for the whole thing, it then turned to mine. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> and he's got some Pressure. strong, you know, I mean, he comes from Broadway and, you know, it's his thing. So there was quite a shift as far as the strength of the voice there. But it was cool. It was cool because the kids were excited to be singing and it, it wasn't about it was certainly not about me singing at all. So there wasn't pressure for me to perform well. So I was cool because of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you also have um, How I Met Your Mother coming up yes, soon. Yes, I do. You're returning to the show. Yes. Fill us in. Yay. 10 years in the future, yeah, right? Yeah, you, you see flash forwards instead of flashbacks in, in this episode that's going to air next week. Um, you see me 10 years later and kind of what evolves with my character and um, and it's pretty exciting. I was Ooh. when I got the script, I was I was pretty happy about it. Any more hints? Oh. You want to <laughs> I don't even know how to analyze this one right that now. That show, like Glee, has such an incredible fan following. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean it's crazy. The people there's websites, tons of websites just dedicated for true. the fans. This is true. So anything exclusive you want to tell us is totally fine. About how to meet your mother? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> well, here I can tell you this. Um, there, there has been some speculation that I could possibly be the mother when you're the waitress. Is a contender uh, okay. amongst a few others. Oh. Um, we will find out in this episode airing Monday whether that is true or not. <laughs> a good reason to tune in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And how do you look in 10 years, by the way? They, any, any different? They Well, you know, it's interesting. They um, they just put my hair up in like <clears throat> kind of more of a mommy type do. And yeah. More sophisticated. More sophisticated. Style. I was out of there. I was not working at McLaren's, the bar You're anymore. You're done at the bar. Oh, that's, good. The bar. <laughs> that's good. We know that she moves on. That is good news. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and. I, I'm tra in the episode I'm traveling to Hong Kong, so so there's that. You're international. Hey, Wendy, mm, international. Yes. Love it. Interesting. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming yes, by. Thank and you thank for having me. Congrats yeah. on everything. We hope, Dana and I, that you make a return to Glee. Yes. So hey, why don't you guys, crossed. who we know have watched the episode, hit the comment section and feel free to weigh in if you want Bailey to make a return to Glee. And of course, <laughs> uncross your fingers for one moment this to type it like in. This feels like American Idol right now. Like I should have yeah. Bailey with my number. Your number, yeah. what number do you want to be? <laughs> yeah. uh, 22. There, there you go. go. Next 22, it's a clever TV. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your Glee 411, stick with us right here at Clever TV. Bye guys. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.